My name is David O'Neill, and I'd like to take a few minutes and tell you the story of why I chose Marie Fitzperry as my artist to do two very important portraits of two very special labs for me. My lab, Sam, that lived to be 16, that passed away in 2005, and my current British lab captain that's nine, have been very impactful in my life. And the process of choosing an artist not only revealed why Marie did these two for me, but she'll be the only artist I will ever use for any of my animals. I spent a lot of time in trying to understand the different artist venues and, and what was important. In that initial phone call, when the other artists were more concerned with payment terms and how long it was going to take and method of payment, Marie was focused on the personalities of my dogs, what I really wanted to see in the end, how much more information could I send her about the dogs. She counseled me on why that was so important. And it was more an understanding that a picture is taken from the outside looking in. It's one snapshot in time but a true portrait is built from the inside looking out. And that's why she spent so much time trying to understand why these dogs were so special to me and what made them so special. She, she's very passionate about animals, but she is so passionate about the quality of her work and wanting to bring out your dog or your animal in that portrait. And only you have that connection with that animal to know if she got it right. When I first saw the proof of Captain, I was literally amazed because I think he symbolizes the perfect dog. I don't consider him a dog, but a member of my family and one of my best friends. Sam was an American lab that was the most powerful dog I'd ever seen. What impressed me most about him was his loyalty. He was a one-person dog. He wanted to be by your side. What cemented our relationship forever, he saved my life. I hit my head on a pilot and fell into the water unconscious. And the next thing I knew, Sam had jumped in the water, had grabbed the collar of my shirt, held it above the water and was swimming me to shore, where an ambulance met me and took me to the hospital. That's an experience and a, and a relationship that's, that's hard to define, but in looking at the place that I, that I put his portrait, which is over my bed in my lodge, He's one of the first things I see when I wake up and he's one of the last things I see before I go to sleep because he symbolizes loyalty and, and a love that was unconditional. When you look at the portrait, you see the power and a lot of people comment because I have a lot of pictures of one of his favorite actions was that he used to carry around the 70 pound log in his mouth and people were marveled at that. And that's in the portrait because that kind of symbolizes who he was. But I think what symbolizes more was just the intensity in his eyes. And I, I just sat and stared at that portrait and you can almost see into his eyes in that portrait. And I don't know how Marie was able to create that, but I am forever grateful that she did. I would never consider a different artist than Marie.